Oh yeah, you can talk about the boat too. I guess there is a boat. <laughs> Recording. Uh, are you now? For sure. Got the framing sorted? Yeah. We all good? Yeah. See behind me, it's 20 foot of limb wild striker from vintage 1998. Uh, picked it up a few weeks ago for a smoking deal. Uh, I took relatively good care of it, but it does have about 20 years of um, Hey, I want this new thing. Let's wire it into the 12 volt stuff. And the easiest way to do that is automotive style butt connectors and or the uh, puncture splices. I don't know what the actual proper name for them is. So there's a pile of wiring in there. We have stripped out a bunch of stuff that was corroded and didn't really work. And then we decided that, hey, this would be great content for a YouTube channel. So we created Oregon Fishing. Uh, we'll take you guys with us through the journey of making this thing a little bit better, as well as the interim of using it for the purpose of the channel, which is fishing. So we'll take you up into the boat, we'll show you what we've done so far, and uh, what we have to do. It does have some awfully nice electronics, though. You're probably more familiar with what was going on under here than I am. Yeah, but it's all visible now. You should be able to figure it out pretty easily. Oh, God. You just want to watch me crawl under here. Not really. You want to watch my fat friend wrench himself under the dash of a boat. Fat air friends. <laughs> I'm not going to take <laughs> this. harness appears to be factory. There's some interesting stuff here. Some split heat shrink. Uh, these butt connectors, I believe, are the proper style. There was some. I thought, I don't see them now, but there was, the wire nuts. what's that? Look for the wire nuts. Oh, here's, here's some of the wire nuts. I'm, I don't remember what this was, this goes to. Was oh, this the old fish finder? That is the old fish finder that is not yet fully stripped out. Or that's the new one. That might be the new one. <laughs> it's the new one now. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was some heat shrink butt connectors here that were never heat shrinked, funnily enough. Um, the switch panel is awfully easy to get to back in this little corner. There's also the interesting thing. The whole reason we started into this is because we wanted a fuel gauge because the fuel gauge wasn't working. So we came in here and wiggled some wires and see if we could get it to work. And we discovered... It what? It does work. It does work. Yeah, once you turn the running light switch on, the fuel gauge suddenly works, and... Well, I guess the key's not strictly necessary. <laughs> right, it's just the running the running light switch, but... Anyway, it took us ripping all this stuff out and stripping out a bunch of uh, extraneous wires to sort that issue out. Now that it's sorted, the thing has juice so that we can have a fuel gauge and a trim gauge. Um... That is good enough for salmon season. Yeah, it's not going to quit in the middle of the house. And we want to get out and take this thing fishing. Yep. So, we uh, have, I think, made enough progress for now. Um, one of the things probably worth mentioning is this... Uh, this is our new transducer. I'm gonna zip that up for now. When we redo all the wiring, we're also going to put in a secondary battery. It's currently a single battery system. So we'll put secondary battery in with an ACR. We're gonna add some lights. We're gonna wire everything in appropriately. We're gonna do the wire runs with the heavier gauge wire for the main power up front. We are going to run the transducer wire through the actual wire galleys. Um, that sounds like a lot more work and a lot less fishing than I signed up for. Y'all get over it. <laughs> I mean, hey, for buying a boat at half price, I'm not going to complain. Yeah. So this thing has been out on the water. It is water worthy. Oh, the bilge pump is another interesting thing. Uh, there, I haven't torn the floorboards up to actually look, but there's either a, either not a float switch or a non-functional float switch. Uh, started started to fish for a while and a few hours later kicked the boat up and put the big motor down and got it up on plane and it was very wishy-washy and handled very oddly. 
maybe flip that's... the manual bilge pump switch on and well we gushed water for i don't know five minutes maybe that's where that uh random hot wire that ran down into the bilge and wasn't actually attached to anything went that seems likely but uh we'll figure it out later um in the meantime it's just hey check the bilge check the bilge but like i said keyword is salmon season we're already a month in or so well not quite a month but we're already in the beginning of it we gotta get the ladies out on the boat this weekend and they won't want to go in the salt so we're gonna go up to a lake this weekend and do some bass fishing and then uh the weeks after that provided time and money allows we'll be hitting the base Woo! cool i think that's all we need to cover more or less um what about that one thing No, that's a little tiny bat. <laughs> God damn it. Why me? And now your legs all tiny. That's bass fishing, Charlie. It's a, uh, I mean, it's a lot like other fishing, you know, shit tangles, you lose gear, you catch. Nope. Busted Danny. Busted Danny. You're supposed and to humanely let them go, Charles. Marissa doesn't dive to your bass when you're expecting oh. her to. Okay, humanely. Oh yeah, hand it to me sharp side first. I was trying to keep the dog from getting the bass. <laughs> what? He, he went in face first. It's good. This dog is seriously spoiled. Spoiled? Do you see this? Maybe tarted, but I don't know if I see it oil. <laughs> oh, fat guy. Huh? He swallowed my hook. Danny got one. It's yeah, all the way down there. One. Yeah, but he swallowed it. Biggest one of the day. It is. You little fat guy. What do you do when you get home? You put the fence back together. Anyway, the trip went well. Ladies caught some fish, even though they were small, and uh, everything worked. So, see you in the salt. <laughs>